welcome. Today we are going to be talking about the African Mango IGOB 131 and our friend Dr. Oz. So here he is, a lot of hype going on. Does African Mango help you lose weight? What did Dr. Oz really say? So here's an issue of First for Women, January 2nd, 2012. There's our friend Dr. Oz right on the cover. And let's scroll down a little bit and see what he has to say. A Dr. Oz's Rx for Extreme Weight Loss. A fruit fiber melts stubborn fat and sweeps cholesterol out of the body. All right, sounds pretty impressive. Let's jump into the article and uh, see what's going on here. And we're going to call that up. Here's a quick inside the article. Step number one, too busy to diet or exercise. Drop 11 pounds in seven days with African mango. And it goes on to talk about how on a recent episode of the show, Dr. Oz called out Urbingia gabonesis, more commonly known as African mango, as a miracle in your medicine cabinet that will help you lose 10 pounds. Uh, and it goes on, and there's more information here about cholesterol-lowering effects of it as well. So what's the truth here? Did Dr. Oz really say this? Did he endorse a specific supplement? Let's jump over to one of our favorite sites, bestorganicsupplements.com, and find out a little bit more about it. Now, right here we have the study. This is what we think is important. Let's go to the source. Let's find out the information, see what was really said. Here's a published study, 10-week double-blind study. 102 overweight subjects took either 150 milligram capsules of IGOB-131. Now what this is, is IGOB-131 is a patented extract of the African mango seed. Uh, that's important, we'll get back to that. Basically what they found was after 10 weeks, the IGOB-131 group lost an average of 28 pounds, 6.7 inches from their waistline and reduced body fat by 18.4%. Oh yeah, by the way, LDA cholesterol also dropped by 27%. So very impressive. Now, we always like to go to the source. We say, okay, where did the study come from? Is it legitimate? Let's jump on over. We're going to show you the actual study itself. And here we are at the PubMed site. This is run by the government. And here's a study. And as you see, I'm going to show you just right up here. This is actually published in a journal called Lipids of Health and Disease 2009. So this is a published peer-reviewed journal. Uh, we'll have all the links in the comments section of this video here, so you can go and check these out yourself. But the full abstract, the information conclusions, is all there. And again, important to understand, in this study, they use something called IGOB-131. Now, let's go back and uh, see what Dr. Oz was really talking about. So, I'm going to go back to Best Organic Supplements. And again, a lot of hype. Dr. Oz, what did he say? What did he recommend? I don't know why people don't just go to the source. Right here, we have links. Uh, here, Dr. Oz talks about it. So. If we click over to that link, I'm going to take you to his site. And let's just read exactly what Dr. Oz did and did not say. And here we're going to come over to the Dr. Oz site. Uh, breakthrough fixes for every woman over 40. And we're going to scroll down a little bit here just so you can see the section dealing with African mango. And right here, the obstacle, weight gain. And the breakthrough, taking 150 milligrams of this African mango seed extract twice daily, has been shown to help decrease weight and waist circumference. Uh, and the breakthrough here, Urvingia, again, that's just the name of African mango. So right there, that's what Dr. Oz said. As you see, he's not endorsing any specific brand, um, any specific supplement. That's where the hype gets out of control. But what we think is interesting, we're going to go back to the label here. I'm going to show you a product here called Perfect African Mango. Look what it's made with. It's actually made exactly with IGOB-131. 150 milligrams. Now this is exactly what was used in the study. And there's nothing else in this product. So we're going to look at other ingredients, a vegetable capsule. So if you are interested in trying out the perfect African mango, you want to see if it has an effect in terms of weight loss and all of that, we really recommend you go with something that has exactly what was used in the study, IGOB 131, and exactly the dosage 150 milligrams. We're going to go back to the study here, and as you see, background, they used IGOB-131, and if you read over here as you go down, they used 150 milligrams of IGOB-131. So this is real significant. When you can find a product that has the exact ingredient used in a published clinical study and the exact dosage, which is what you have with this perfect African mango, we think that's the way to go if you want to try it out. So uh, we're going to have some more videos, more information about African mango, but that's a quick look at the African mango, IGOB-131, and what Dr. Oz really said.